Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Oakland Raiders. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early... We're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what game plan? I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away in its second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Hey, 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 let's go! go! He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, he'll drop to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting go. for him to take One, off. Nine. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it.
So a decent game, still but for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Come on, let's go! Looking to throw. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Everyone's got four. Four down. Come on, let's go. Grand 38. Grand 38. He'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Come on, let's go! Grand 38! They'll look to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Steelers send out their punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, go, however go, he has to do go, it, go. as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And now movement here right away. Maybe a sign of things to come with this crowd. False start, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here we go now. Blue Landers. Blue Landers. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. That hold coming from the middle of the Still line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. 
And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. He'll drop to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, a lot for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? About uh, 15 cents. Here's the Raiders punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Side, he's got it complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. play the clock hits triple zeros and time is up on the first quarter nothing nothing our score more from the steel city coming up after this the nfl on ea sports is fueled by gatorade the... back with charles davis brandon gordon it's steeler football to begin quarter number two they're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out throw and this is going to be caught but they'll say out of bounds so it's incomplete i know for us it's fun and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps you see them working on getting two feet down instead of one but the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one so the transition's a little bit less in this case though wasn't able to complete it anyway He'll look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And they'll run it here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is not a just big, a big man, big, a huge boy, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> and there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Here we go! They'll look to throw here. He's got a first out and more inside the 30. And down to the 16-yard line. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They come up first and 10 at the 16. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Let's go! Now a first carry for their fullback, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. And that was a good collision right there, and I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball, where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it, and on that play you did, so you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. On third and one, it seems natural to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Second and goal from the one. Let's go! One, They'll give it to him up the middle, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. The Steelers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. 
So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Then we'll get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in. All right, here we go. Boom, landing! They're on a draw here on second down. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always and enjoy the conversation down. post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here we go now. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They look to throw now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> and he comes back with one complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Here we go now. Blue Blue They'll set up to throw. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. And he's taken down inside the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Right, nice completion Blue there. Landed. Keeps the sticks moving. They're going to look to throw. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here we go now. Boom, Blue Back to throw here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The Raiders into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 at the 14. Here we go. Green, 39. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of four. And it'll be second down. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Green, go. Green 39! Green 39! Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. Three five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Let's go! Three nineteen! Three nineteen! Now back to throw. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. In for the score. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. And a little time left on the clock. So on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Sebastian Janikowski on for the PAT. Janikowski good with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. Come on, let's go! Grand 38! Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And his throw here is incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can hold... Wait, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. Green, 
And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. He has elite instincts on his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Here's the Raiders punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree, getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way oh, too tight. Go. Unable to find anyone open. They drop the throw. Now he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. The Steelers send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Hurry up, here we go. Oh, they'll run it now out of the gun. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the 
Steelers. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field, right? Stay mentally sharp, stay ready. And above all, when you get into the game, hold on to the football. Don't let the other team have it. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Pass the 20. So left side, it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. He got 29 yards that time. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. off to his fullback and he goes backwards here losing yardage back to the 16 this will be a two yard loss on the play and that'll make it second and 12 Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still, a lot of guys to account for. <laughs> touchdown but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone tight end is obviously a big threat yet these guys continue to make plays is there any other way to stop them apparently not in the red zone like you said that's your guy they got it to him Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. As his guys are in for six. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. First and goal. Forget running the football. Forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against tight, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Extra point attempt to follow here. The extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So out come the Raiders, and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. 
Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked him. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh, it's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here we go. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there in a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. the shotgun he'll look to throw and he almost had it defensively could have been a game changer there in this second half instead it's third down I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there you've got a lead you've got to protect it and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy especially in a spot like this fourth quarter as you said trying to cling to that advantage yeah that one probably should have been picked huh an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A bullet throw, but incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. A 
big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, but a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decided. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. They'll run it now. Out of the goal. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Wide open receiver complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. All right, here we go. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. This quarterback now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. All right, here we go. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. 
And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And incomplete on the deep ball. There was the pressure you were talking about, forcing the incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. And Janikowski bangs it through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on the lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Looking to throw. And an alley to run. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. what they were looking for. They've been giving up yardage. They've been letting them drive right downfield, but they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And the Steelers on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and 17. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not much running room. Down to the 32. 
Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. That's going to set them back five yards. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go. White 90. White 90. Uh -huh. He'll drop to throw. And the Raiders have got him. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth, and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find a way back to the quarterback. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.